Mrs. Comer, and again, I am the art teacher at Chris and Barry Elementary. Today, I am going to teach you about warm and cool colors, and we're going to be doing that through creating a collage. Can you say that? Say collage. Good. So we know that in art, colors are super, super important. A lot of the way that when we look at art, the way that we feel comes from the colors that the artists use in their art. And one way that you can sort colors are into families. There is a warm color family, and there's also a cool color family. So today we're gonna study which colors of the rainbow are warm and which colors of the rainbow are cool. We're gonna talk about um, some things in those colors, why they're associated with warm and cool. And then what we get to do is we get to go around our homes, find things like paper or envelopes or recycling material, even bits of garbage, and we can rip them up. We're gonna sort them into warm and cool color families, and then we're gonna create a collage. A collage is a work of art that is assembled by found objects or paper or fabric, and it's usually glued or taped together. So we'll do a little bit of studying on that as too. So I'm really excited to get started, and we are going to begin by learning about our warm and cool colors. So here are some colors of the rainbow. These are colors that we're going to try to find objects in in our homes today, or maybe even from outside that we can use in our warm and cool color collages. I put this color wheel here in English and in Spanish because it's always important to be able to say different colors or different words in different languages. And Spanish just happens to be one that I speak as well. So I want you to take a really good look at this color wheel and start asking yourself, well, hmm, I wonder if that's a warm or a cool color. If I had to guess without already knowing which ones are warm and cool, what color would be warm and what color would be cool and why do I think that? Did you get any of the colors right when you were guessing warm and cool colors? Here are the different warm and cool color families. Look on the left side. You have warm colors. Say warm. You have the the reds, you have the oranges, and you have the yellows. And then on the other side of this color wheel, you have cool colors, say cool. You have the greens, you have the blues, and you have the purples. So now what we're gonna do is actually look at some different works of art that people have made, and we're gonna see if we can guess which ones are warm and which ones are cool now that we know that warm is red, orange, and yellow and cool is green, blue, and purple. Check out this drawing. You have leaves and then you also have some geometric shapes behind the leaves. Where do you see warm colors and where do you see the cool colors? If you said the leaves were warm, you got it right. And if you said that the background, the geometric shapes were cool, you also got it right. Now look at this painting that an artist made. It's inspired by a great wave. Where do you see the warm colors in this art and where do you see the cool colors? Last one. Look at this work of art. Where are the warm colors and where are the cool colors? Can you find them? So now that we are warm and cool color expert artist, we are going to be making collages. And remember, I said that earlier a collage is a work of art where you rip or cut or tear things up and you can glue or tape them back down together and assemble it together to make something completely new. So today um, we get to go around our homes. We're going to be looking for things like paper or cardboard or fabric or things in the trash or recycling that we could actually take and use in our art. So let's go over our materials list now. Here are some materials that we are going to need for our warm and cool color collages. You're going to need a piece of paper for your collage backing. That is not paper that you were going to cut up. That's the paper that we will glue and tape stuff onto. That means you'll need glue, a glue stick or tape, or some kind of way to stick these items to your paper. 
Now, let's talk about things around our house that we could use in our collage. You can go through your recycling and your trash and use old food or drink boxes, old envelopes in the mail or magazines, fabric. You could use buttons, old artwork or drawings that you don't want anymore. You could go outside and use um, leaves or sticks or grass. Literally anything that you can stick down to this backing piece of paper can be used in your collage. So try to be super creative today when you're looking for your items. Want to see what I found in my house? All right, so first, here's my collage backing. Again, this white piece of paper is not going to be um, something that I cut up or rip up or tear up. Um, this is going to be my backing, which means I'm going to take other items and glue or tape them onto this paper. I also found some masking tape that I can use. I did find a glue stick and some liquid glue, so I might try a little bit of all of it. Again, it's okay if you don't have all of these things. Um, I grabbed some scissors just in case I want to use those. I don't need them though because I can also use my hands to tear and rip things apart. I went down to my art studio and I found this old paper towel that has this blue ink on it because I like to paint with ink. And I was like, ooh, that's a cool color. So I'm going to use that in my collage today. I'm going to rip this up and use this in my art. I also found these fabric scraps. You think that's a warm or a cool color? I was thinking warm. I um, also went through my recycling. Ate some mac and cheese recently, so I'm going to take this box and rip it up. It has warm and cool colors on it. Same thing, found an old drink box that I ripped up a little bit. An old chalk box that's kind of raggedy. There's no way I could use it. I noticed a bunch of warm and cool colors on it, along with other kinds of boxes from my recycling. I made a texture rubbing for a different lesson. It's full of warm and cool colors. So today, I think I actually might repurpose it and rip it up into different sections and sort that into warm and cool colors as well. Some other fun, interesting, unique things I found for my collage. I've been doing some painting at my house. I found this blue painter's tape. Is that a warm or a cool color? It's a cool color. So I can actually take this tape and make this part of my warm and cool color collage. I also walked outside because it was very pretty outside today. I found some clovers. I grabbed some blades of grass that I want to incorporate into my collage. And I even went through some of my sewing stuff and I found some buttons that are warm and cool colors as well that I'd like to put in my collage. So now we're going to get down to it. Let's make our art. All right, friends, so now I'm looking at my backing. This is my white piece of paper that I'm going to use for my backing. What I'm going to do before I start gluing or taping anything down is taking some of my objects, and I'm actually just going to sort them into warm and cool color piles. So I think what I'm going to do is put my warm items on this part of my paper, and then my cool items on this part of my paper, just to start sorting them into their correct color families. So my clovers are green. Are they warm or are they cool? Cool, definitely. Same thing with this blue button. That's a cool color. Um, same thing with my old paper towel. Cool colors, very awesome. Now, I'm gonna look over here, and rip this orange part off. I would say that's a warm color. So I'm gonna put it on this side I'm going to rip up some more of that box, some orange flavored seltzer water. So we're going to have quite a bit of orange over there. My chalk box, the top is red. Is that warm or is it cool? Definitely warm. I'm going to put that over there. This pink bead I found, also warm. This green button I'm going to put over here with my cool colors. My painter's tape I'm going to put over here on this side with the cool colors. My fabric, I'm gonna put on the warm side, but I'm not gonna take this whole piece. I might just take a little bit off of it. Just cut a piece like this. Incorporate it into my collage this way. I also have an old crayon box, bits of yellow. I'm gonna put in my warm side. And then my mac and cheese box from earlier.
take this part off, stick it with my warm colors, take this blue part, stick it with my cool colors. Last thing, I'm gonna rip up some of my chalk box, maybe take this little piece right here, put it with some cool colors. And then take this yellow piece and put it over here. So now what I think I'm, oh, I almost forgot. I got my artwork for my texture rubbing. This is a cool color. This is a warm color. This is also a cool color. I always think it's really fun when I can take artwork that I've made before and I don't really like it as much anymore or I want to do something to it but I'm not sure what. I can always repurpose it into something different. So here, now I have a lot of warm color things and a lot of cool color things. So I think what I might do is just sit down and I'm going to start gluing or taping um, these items down together. For me, I am going to do more abstract stuff where my colors are just going to be warm on one side or cool on the other. But you're the artist. It's your choice on how you do your collage. So you don't have to do what I'm doing. You could actually draw a picture like we kind of looked at earlier and fill just parts of the picture in with only cool things and other parts with only warm things. You are the artist. It is your choice. So now I'm going to start making my art. guys you want to see what my warm and cool color collage looks like Ta -da! I'm super proud of myself if you look at my art I have all of my cool colors on this side and they're kind of blending into my warm colors on this side and again I just kind of did this abstract idea where I'm just placing cool colors and warm colors in their families but again, when you do this project, there are so many different ways you could do it. If I wanted to, even right now, I could take cool color crayons and I could color these outside white spots and then take warm color crayons and color these spots too. If I wanted to do something different on the back of my paper, I could draw a picture and again, I could fill in my shapes with warm colors and then other shapes with cool colors. There's so many different ways to make art in color families and I hope that you're going to be super super creative today in making your own collage stand out. Hope you get to describe um, your color families to your siblings or family members in the home with you and I hope more importantly that you have fun doing it. Anyway, I will see you next time I've had fun making art with you today. Bye!